to our continuing coverage of the Trump administration's decision to freeze the DACA or DREAMers program. Dozens of students walked out of class at Sierra High School in the Springs today to show their support of the DACA program. News 5's Lena Holland spoke with some of those students. She's in studio tonight with a closer look. Lena. Well, Rob, many of these students walked out of class today peacefully to show support to their classmates who are able to be here under DACA, while about 30 joined the protest against the Trump administration's decision to end the Dreamers Act. Many hope they will be able to keep their dreams alive. The choice was it right. So we won't stop the fight. It's a message familiar because you've heard it before. Across Colorado Springs, Pueblo, and the nation, people reacting to President Trump's decision to put a stop to the Dreamers Act. It's so devastating to see how many people's lives are going to be affected by this. Today, though, we heard from a much younger crowd. And our futures. And our futures. Walking out of class would show how small our classes would be if they removed our DACA students. Joanna Ortiz is one of at least 30 Sierra High School students who walked out of class this afternoon in support of their DACA classmates. It really hurts because I've already had family deported, so there's always, there's always that connection. That, there's always that hurt that comes with it. So if I lost some friends towards that, it would suck. It would really, really suck. While Harrison School District 2 doesn't keep a record of which students are able to be there under DACA because they don't ask upon enrollment, their classmates and friends know. We lose so many great students who are working so hard to get the future that they want, the future that they need. And I don't know, Sierra just wouldn't be the same without those students. While it's unclear what the future holds for these students, if nothing changes, they could be sent back to their home countries. We believe that everyone deserves a future and everyone deserves to get an education, to have a job, to make money to survive. And why would we take that away from somebody? Everyone deserves a future! Now, Harrison School District administrators supported these students in their protest today and using their voices in a respectful way. The principal even taking time to stand with the students this afternoon. They hope to use this as a learning opportunity by starting the conversation, getting engaged and teaching them how to contact their elected officials. Rob.